Hello everyone, welcome to the Barefoot Lawyer Reports. My name is Will Dethridge, the producer, and joining me as always is Chen Guangcheng. Hello, my friend. Uh, glad to see you again here. Yeah, we got some uh, pretty big developing news uh, coming out, right? Guang yes, Chen? yes, that is big news. Yep, looking at an article here, of course, we'll have it in the description saying that Republican lawmakers uh, responded to a news report saying that the United States Energy Department had concluded the lab leak theory, of course, surrounding COVID-19, was likely. And that excerpt I read was from the Epoch Times citing a Wall Street Journal article yeah. recently saying that the finding supports what many have long suspected. So Guangcheng, for a very long time now, you've been in favor of the theory that COVID-19 came from a lab, right? Yes, yes, of course. I, three years ago, I know that. I know where the coronavirus come from. And at that time, I tried to tell more people about this, to ask the US government to check what's happening. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. I talk a lot. But uh, we know what's happening now. Mm -hmm. We got a lot of information. Yeah. You know, Representative Jim Jordan from Ohio says, so the government caught up to what real America knew all along. You know, Guangcheng, I think it's very concerning that a lot of the media here in the United States tried to just censor people who thought that the Communist Party or, you know, someone working for the Communist Party may have leaked the virus, right? That's pretty, that's pretty yeah. concerning, isn't it? That we yeah, couldn't yeah, even yeah. talk about it for yeah. a long time. And, you know, either no one would listen to you or you would even maybe be banned on places like Twitter or the media uh, would censor people like you, right? Right, right. And I know that there's a lot of ties between, you know, our medical institutions and Chinese ones as well. There's a lot of partnerships. There's a lot of money that goes back and forth between you know, uh, universities, academic institutions, research institutions, yes. et cetera. And you're saying we shouldn't, we shouldn't trust them. We yeah, trust yeah. Them. Uh, anything we give to the Khan party to do some good thing, the Khan party will use that to do the best thing. Okay. Never believe, no, never no, believe any word from the Khan party. The Khan party, you know, in mainland China use a prank Propaganda to tell the whole world, to tell the whole people in mainland China, they said the coronavirus come from the U.S. Right. The U.S. created and share it to Wuhan. Yep. Right. They yeah. Start lying right off the bat. Yes. Yes. They will use that to make the people hate the U.S. Mm -hmm. So what are people in China saying right now? As you mentioned, the government is still trying to convince the people that we are responsible for the virus, right? You know, the netizens on the internet said the Khan party, they never think how to make the people happy. The only, only, only thing important for the Khan party is to control the power. In fact, That's you crazy. know, a lot of people, I think they, they, are, they are awakened. They mm -hmm. understand what's happening, mm -hmm. but they, no way to express their opinion. Right. If they write something or see something on the internet, the Khan party will uh, uh, freeze the, their account and order the police to come to their door mm -hmm. and put them in jail. Right. So no one can speak the truth. Right. But a lot of people know what's happening. Right, so it sounds like a lot of the Communist Party is starting to lose its grip on the narrative. Yes, yeah, yeah. That, yeah. Uh, there was no lab mm -hmm. leak, yeah. right? If you just use the internet to look for what the Chinese people are thinking, maybe you will get the wrong result and you will mm -hmm. think, oh, a lot of people support the Communist Party, but that is not true. That's not the case. Yeah, right? yeah. There's a lot more, of people who are suspicious, right? Yeah, more than half people understand you how people are of mm. course, you follow the comments, mm. you will understand how, how many percent. Yeah, well, it's great that you give us insight, Guangcheng. That's one of the highlights of the series is you have access mm -hmm. to all these applications and chats that are only in Chinese, right? And you, you engage with the netizens and you know what they're saying. And, you know, if I'm hearing you correctly, it sounds like the tide is turning against the Communist Party, that less and less people are believing that they are innocent, right? Yeah. Mm, yeah. Well, you know, that's one of the reasons we encourage people to follow this series for sure, 
is to continue getting these insider insights uh, that Guangcheng gives us, you know, from all the news straight from mainland China. Um, yeah, yeah. I always encourage the U.S. government or Congress or the U.S. people directly contact the Chinese people, mm -hmm. not just the work with the Communist Party. Right. The Communist Party does not represent the Chinese people. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So in the future, we we have to work together to make mainland China become democratic. Yeah, and we're, yeah, I like what you're saying is, you know, reach out to and work with individual citizens, right? Not yes, yes, people yes. who claim to represent them because they don't. Yes, right? yes. They, on, they only serve themselves, right, Guangcheng? Yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes. And across our social media, especially our Facebook, we're featuring more and more footage, uh, messages, and initiatives coming from the com or coming from Chinese citizens, not party officials themselves, right, Guangcheng? Yes. Yeah, and we'll continue to produce more content like that, and we'll continue to follow the story as it uh, develops. It's it's a big deal that the U.S. Energy Department is starting to uh, accept the reality that this virus very well may have come from a, a lab in Wuhan. Right, yes. Guangcheng? Yes. Yes. A lot of people believe that. You mm -hmm. know, the coronavirus come from Wuhan. Yeah. We appreciate you all for tuning into this episode of the Barefoot Lawyer Reports. Please make sure to follow us across Facebook, Instagram, iTunes, Spotify, YouTube, and our other platforms. And be sure to share with your friends. You know, like we said, uh, we're trying to foster a direct relationship and an insight into what real Chinese citizens are thinking and saying, right, Guangcheng? Yeah, I hope we can work together. Tomorrow will be better. All right, perfect. <laughs>